already know what it is. Our favorite thing. You hear it? It's nice, isn't it? Feels like home now, doesn't it? Give me a lime LaCroix. I'm right at home. Hi, hello everyone. My name is Rachel and welcome slash welcome back to my channel. For this week, really for the weekend, what I thought that we would do is read some fun summery reads. Obviously I'm in that mood for summer reads because we are in summer. I'm also in a place where I can use a backyard and it's more private. I am very much in the summery mood because I'm I'm in it. I mean my hair is all natural. I've got my Mama Mia hair going on. So I really want to read some summery reads. However, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do like a full week. So that's why I'm thinking maybe a weekend. I don't know how many books I'll get to. I'm gonna kind of like let it be. If it's just one book, great. If it's two, great. If it's three, oh my goodness. All I've been doing is reading. Books though that I have in mind that I may read, I have three because I am feeling, what is it? Not inspired, but not adventurous either. What am I feeling? Like an overachiever? Why am I losing all words in my brain? I'm feeling optimistic. Wow, <laughs> got it. <laughs> so I have three books picked out. I don't know which ones I'll read. I'll just go with my feeling at the time. The ones that I have picked out is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. My sister just read this one and so that's why it's kind of like gone to like the top of my list. She really loved it and so I'm hoping that I really love it because again I've heard like weird mixed reviews on this and so I so I don't really know what to think going into it. Maybe I'm gonna fall in love with it. Maybe this is gonna be a five star. It's been forever since I've read a five star so maybe this will be a five star. I don't know. The other book that I just recently got but was on my summer beach read TBR is Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. In case I'm in the mood for a thriller, so maybe this one. The next one is one that everyone has been reading and everyone has been talking about and everyone is all about it and it is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I a little bit want to savor this one, so I don't know. Maybe this one, but we'll just see. These are the books that I'm thinking about reading. I've got a busy weekend coming up, so hopefully I'll be able to read at least one of them. If not, I'll take you into next week with me until I finish one. But I'm gonna leave this vlog as a chill vlog. You know, what I get to, I get to. What I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna set an allotted amount, but I'm hopeful for at least two. So with that, let's go ahead and get started.
feeling lots of things. But wow, being out there in the sun, it's made me thirsty. Every summer after. Should we talk about it? Let's talk about it. I really enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun reading it. I think I would give this four, potentially four and a half stars. It's extremely comparable to Love and Other Words. I mean, when I finished it, I was like, okay, so this is, this is basically Love and Other Words, but just a little bit different. And I like the differentness of it, to be honest. I guess I, I get it when people say that there's something at the end of this book that they really don't like, but I don't know. I guess I thought it was going to be a lot worse. To me, I guess I, I understood what the mistake was. Like, I, I could see it from both points of views of why it would happen. Honestly, I wish that they would have dug d deeper into Charlie's story. I think that that could have been interesting. I really enjoyed the writing in this. I liked the vibes of it. I enjoyed their story. I loved the pacing. I feel like the pacing of this was really spot on. If you remember from my Love and Other Words vlog, that was really the big issue I had. Well, that and another thing, which this didn't have either of those issues. And so even though the writing style wasn't as, I would say, lyrical as Christina Lawrence, this is Carly's first book. This is her debut. So I mean, honestly, as a debut, maybe it should be a five. Right now, I'm thinking definitely a strong 4.5, four stars. So I think that's what I'm gonna leave it as. For me, it's a definite win. I totally understand if, you know, for those who couldn't get over the ending, but in my opinion, I just think there's always lines that are crossed in romance books, and sometimes they aren't even talked about as much as this one is talked about. With this one, it's known that it was wrong. Like, the thing that happened, it was known that it was wrong. And it was a big thing too. So it made sense for them not to speak for as long as they did. I appreciated that because it gave some realness to it. But I absolutely loved Sam. I think he was so, so cute. Like there were so many times in here when I was just like, Sam. And then Percy, I just thought that she was so relatable and I just loved her, just watching her grow up and grow into the person that she became in the end. Just the conversation that her and Sam had at the end when things were coming to light and they were finally talking through things, I just found that conversation to be so meaningful and really so beautiful and not one that I've seen really in too many romances. And so I just, I liked, I really liked the message behind it. I personally definitely recommend it if you haven't read it or if you don't know anything about it maybe give this one a shot i really loved it so i definitely want to get her next book at some point probably at some point this summer i will so happy that i read this excellent start to this vlog i think the next book i want to read because i'm definitely in the romance mood is i think i want to start happy place by emily henry so i think that'll be the next book that I start because I will say I have seen so many quotes on bookstagram right now like that's basically all my feed is is just people taking pictures and putting quotes of this book up and I'm one of those people I can't I, it's not like I I I'm gonna stop myself from reading them absolutely not I'm gonna read the heck out of those I just I think I need to read it sooner rather than later because I feel like I'm gonna spot a spoiler because I'm nosy as all get out. You think I just read what the girls underline and take a photo of? No, I read all around it. I read as many words as I can on those. <laughs> Even if they're not trying to spoil me, they may. I just think it's probably best that I go ahead and read this sooner rather than later. And also, I'm just in the mood for it. I've heard that this one is like a little bit different than her past books are. So I'm curious what that means. Is there not going to be happily ever after? Is someone going to die? Why do I always guess if someone is going to die? Stop guessing that. I'm going to go ahead and start this one. And yeah, 
Come along. Okay, great. who this is she's new here so everyone be nice I like literally just finished happy place like I did probably not even like a minute ago and I have to talk about it oh my gosh I loved this so much Emily Henry she knows how to write a really good book and like it almost makes me want to cry because like there are so many aspects in this that just I related to all the different personalities and like the things that people go through I felt this one so deeply and like it just yeah just makes me want to cry but also be so happy and like I'm so happy with how it ended I kept on thinking I was just like waiting for the other shoe to drop the whole time. It was such a good book. I read this all basically today. And so if that tells you anything, I just couldn't put it down. I wanted to know all of Wynn and Harriet's story. I just loved them. I loved the friend group. I love the different personalities. I absolutely loved the different struggles each of them were going through and like the final thing of like, what they all talked about and like the difference between friendships and and long relationships and families versus the families that you choose and like what happiness means and like jobs and outside life and just there were just so many aspects of this that I was just like girl this is hitting way too close to home oh I just I keep on going back and forth of like what I want to give it but really I don't, I don't know what else it could be. It has to be a five star. Something that I think Emily is getting really good at is her literary fiction side of her romances. 
And so, and I mean, she's always been good at it, but I think she's just getting better and better. And so that is just such an exciting thing to see. The pacing of this was so well done. Going back to the past and then to the to the present and just I think I think she does that so well. I never got bored and I just wanted to know it all and I just wanted to hug them all. I highly highly recommend this one. I'm so I just I'm gonna have to marinate on this one because I just, I still feel it. This one I think is my favorite one out of all of hers. Like every single book that I read of hers, it just gets better and better and better. And so like I just have a new favorite every single time I read her books. Wow, I can't believe I found a five star. And I can't believe I've read two super solid books in a row. That's crazy. Every Summer After and then this one, guys. And they're both romances? Guys, I'm so happy that I read it. <laughs> oh my gosh. How am I going to read another book after this? It's only Sunday and it's Memorial Day weekend. So I have tomorrow still that I can continue this vlog. So I need to decide what book I want to read next. But the last two books have been heavy hitters. So this is going to be hard to follow up. And I know that I said I would try Reckless Girls, but I'm still just like in a literary fiction mood. I don't know if I'm in a thriller mood. So I also did pick up Mary Jane by Jessica Anya Blau, just because I've heard really good things about this one. It's more of, you know, a coming of age, which I think would be really good. It's not a, it's not a romance. I think it's just literary fiction. I need to marinate on Happy Place, so I don't know if I'll, I'll start anything tonight. I probably won't, but these are kind of the two that I'm thinking. Whatever the next one is that I'm picking up, I'll show you in the next clip and we'll carry on with this vlog. But so far, successful reading vlog. I have picked up some really good books and it's crazy because they're like super popular books. So it's like, wow, are they popular for a reason? Is it because they're like really good? Shocker. Successful two books. Let's keep going. talk about it oh my goodness so I just finished Mary Jane um again like a minute ago so I started Mary Jane this morning and honestly when I first started reading it I was like mm, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be as into it I think it's gonna be an okay story but like it's just I don't think it's gonna do it for me like it just seems too stereotypical 
But as I got into it, I started to love it. There was something about the characters and the, I guess the vibe of it that I just, I absolutely loved. There was just so many different layers to it. I absolutely loved the way in which both sides were shown. So we've, get, we've got Mary Jane's family who is very conservative Christian family like we're not gonna go outside of our bounds like and it's also set in the 70s so it's during that time period and then we've got the Coneses who are very not conservative they're very liberal people you know he the the doctor is a therapist and so very into everyone's emotions very sexually free you know all of this stuff I was a bit concerned it was gonna get dark, but honestly it didn't. It's very romanticized, like the different things that people go through in it. And so I don't know if it's aware of itself as it's doing it, but, but we have these two like completely different sides going on. And I just love the ending of it. Instead of it being where like one side is wrong and the other side is right, it felt very, it felt very much like it was being very fair to both sides being like there's some really good things about one side and there's some really good things about the other side neither side is perfect and i just i really liked that because i feel like mary jane just encapsulated the middle so well and i just loved her i loved her like figuring things out she's so innocent and so her not knowing like any of this other stuff which she shouldn't she's only 14 years old but like her trying to like figure out like the world or world being expanded in this way was just so fascinating and the way that she would approach different things is so beautiful i loved her relationship with all of the coneses with jimmy with sheba and uh with izzy and her taking care of izzy but then also with her mom in particular i mean her dad wasn't super involved but with her mom, man, those last chapters like really got me. Like you saw me, like I was, I was crying, full on crying reading those last chapters. And it's not because like anything sad necessarily happened. It was more bittersweet. I thought that the writing was really well done. I really like this. If you are looking for like a 70s coming of age story, it's not graphic or, or anything like that. Honestly, pretty romantic, not romantic in the sense of like love, but like romantic, romanticized in the sense of like the vibes are always pretty good. I definitely would recommend this one. It's a really good literary fiction chiclet book. So good, so sweet. And like the way in which we look at these very complex topics of infidelity and things going on with someone's marriage and politics through the eyes of this 14 year old girl who is so naive is it's refreshing in a way and and you just want to protect mary jane at all costs from anything and every and it's so sweet because everyone else wants to protect mary jane from everything like everyone loves mary jane so much and it was so good it was so heartwarming so <sighs> I definitely recommend this one. So good. I'm so glad that I read it. Okay, guys, this is it for the vlog. This was, I can't believe I actually did make it through three books. That's crazy. That is crazy to me. Guys, Speed Demon. And and I dare I say, this is has been the most successful three books that I've read in a vlog, like back to back to back. Because I would say I give Mary Jane four stars loved it absolutely loved it there were some stuff that i was like i don't know if it's self-aware or not and how it's talking about this so in case it's not i'm docking a point but i think it's pretty self-aware and like how extreme it goes to both sides but anyways so four stars for mary jane i gave every summer after four and a half stars loved this one and then a five star read happy place by emily henry like i just that's that is two days in a row crying over books and they're completely different books like that's crazy to me thank you so much for joining i hope if you are looking for any summary books to read that maybe 
you'll pick up some of these because I highly recommend them. Honestly, these are the kinds of books that I would recommend to really anyone who likes any genre. Sometimes I'll only recommend a book if I know that person likes that genre. But with these ones, I just, I feel like they're a bit more universal. Like I feel like anyone could really like these. Maybe not Mary Jane, but the other two, I think there's potential there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.